So a coronavirus is uh, a type of virus and it's named after its structure that looks a bit like a crown. Uh, it's an RNA virus. Um, there are several different uh, species of coronavirus around. We know that they can cause many common infections that we see, so minor respiratory illnesses and um, also hand, foot and mouth that we sometimes see in children when they get a rash on their, in their mouth and on their hands and feet. Um, those are the common ones that we see here, but we also know that there are other ones that uh, can be more severe, uh, such as SARS, which was uh, a concern um, about 10 to 20 years ago. Once the virus gets into the body, it will try and invade certain cells. Uh, and it does that because it needs to use proteins within our cells to make more copies of itself. Uh, and so it will try and get into our cells and make more copies of itself. We call that replication. Uh, and then it can spread throughout the body. So the purpose of the virus is to survive and to make more copies of itself. Uh, so it will then continue to spread throughout the body and invade other cells and continue that process. Uh, but our body will then respond in trying to kill the virus because it will recognise that it's something that's bad and that it doesn't want in the body. And when it does that, it will produce certain chemicals in the immune system uh, to try and kill off the virus and, and other cells that will recognise the virus and particles and try and gobble them up. Uh, and it, it's that action, actually, that makes us feel unwell. So it's the chemicals that we produce to fight the virus that give us those feelings of having a fever or the muscle aches and pains and so on. In later studies, we can look at the genetic makeup of that specific species of virus and we can see how it interacts with human cells in labs uh, and whether it has any particular genes within it that we would consider to be high, highly vir virulent. But that requires us to look at it in a lab setting and how it interacts with human cells. it is a new species of coronavirus. So MERS and SARS are simply different species of coronavirus. Coronavirus is a family of viruses, and within each family you have different species of viruses. Now, they vary in terms of how uh, the kind of disease that they cause, so whether they cause a respiratory illness or whether they cause the rash that I described before and so on. They can vary in how virulent they are, so how much damage they cause to the human host. Um, they vary in terms of where we find them. So uh, we know that uh, now that SARS originated in uh, civets uh, in China, and that's where that came from. But MERS, actually, we find that in um, young dromedary camels in the Middle East. We could call it a variant. Um, 
and this, of course, uh, has some meaning to it. Uh, the, the SARS virus caused a se severe disease, and we can now look at the SARS coronavirus genome and try to understand where, in detail, the differences are between these viruses. Um, and so that's actually what drives the decision-making of scientists now. Uh,